It's been 62 days with no rain. All of North Texas tomorrow under a heat advisory. The longest dry spell for the Dallas metro area in over 20 years. We hit 104 today. That's the 39th time we've had triple digit heat. And there is no end in sight. Temperatures are expected to be in the triple digits in Dallas and throughout the state into the weekend. The extreme heat poised to test a struggling power grid today, with demand potentially topping 80 gigawatts for the first time ever. That's about as much as the total amount of electricity used by California and New York combined in a day. ERCOT says they are coordinating closely with the Public Utility Commission, as well as generation resource owners and transmission utilities to ensure that they are prepared. The heat index in the triple digits from Texas along the Gulf Coast into the Northeast. Cities that could set record highs today include Albany, Hartford, Boston, Newark and Philadelphia. 74% of the United States is experiencing longer, more intense heat waves compared to 50 years ago. So what's the best way to beat extreme heat? So what I do is relax in my house with the AC on <laughs> and don't go outside. <laughs> Experts also say reschedule strenuous activities to early morning or evening. And remember, never leave young children and pets unattended in vehicles. On a 95 degree day, temperatures in cars can get to 114 in 10 minutes and as high as 129 degrees in under a half hour. And it is so dry, it's just a tinderbox around here. Grass fires, a huge concern. One fire forcing some homes to be evacuated overnight. So, guys, it is just dangerous all around. All right, Kristen Dahlgren for us there in Dallas. Kristen, thanks. All right, Al's at the ready mm -hmm. with the latest on the forecast. Yeah, guys, so here's the deal. Uh, stretching from Montana all the way down to Texas and into the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic, 73 million people are under heat advisories or heat warnings here in the Northeast. Triple-digit heat indexes for New York City, Baltimore, Baltimore, Richmond, Raleigh, near that in Charleston, Binghamton, 92 degrees. We're going to be watching that. And as we move, we look at these records that are potentially uh, going to be broken. Boston, Hartford, Newark, Philly, Binghamton, Albany, Concord, and Georgetown as well. And as we head into the weekend, the heat does start to break a little bit, but not by much. Temperature's still going to be in the upper 80s in New York, upper 80s and 90s into Albany, down to Washington, D.C. And that's going to stretch out to the east as well, to the west as well. So the heat index danger zones today, according to the National Weather Service, we're going to start out with caution. The heat index 80 degrees or higher for de fatigue, dehydration after exposure. You get now into the area called extreme caution. That's for heat indexes 90 degrees plus. Heat exhaustion is possible. You can see it stretches from Boston all the way to the West Coast and into the Plains. The danger zone heat indexes 103 or higher. Heat exhaustion likely. Heat stroke possible possible from the Midwest down into the plains and parts of the Mid-Atlantic states. Here's what we expect, what to look for. Heat exhaustion, that's dizzy, dizziness, nausea, clammy skin. Heat stroke, the more dangerous, a throbbing headache, confusion, hot, dry skin. What you should do, if it's heat exhaustion, move to a cool place. Slowly slip, sip water and loosen your clothing. If it's heat stroke, call 911 immediately. Do not give the person suffering it fluids, but cool down the skin with water or ice and get immediate medical attention. Guys? All right, another thing about the fluids. Thank you, Al. Uh, good advice. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.